I was just going to go for my last run here before the marathon um, when some weather rolled in. So if you hear thunder in the background, that's what's going on. Uh, as, there it comes, right on cue. Um, so I decided to just record this video, uh, do a lo-fi version of a, a preview. Um, had to turn in my laptop on uh, Wednesday and I don't have a personal laptop. Uh, so can't produce a fancy video right now um, while I'm up here. Um, started a, starting a new job in a couple of weeks if you haven't been uh, following along with my life lately. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, so yeah, my thoughts for going into tomorrow. Um, the weather is actually looking better now than it had seemed. It's um, There's supposed to be some thunderstorms overnight, but it looks like it's just going to be chance of low chance of rain, 20-30% uh, during the race. So that's actually looking better than I thought. And the last time I looked, the wind was going to be at our back. So um, all things considered, it could be a lot worse. It's going to be warmer also than I'd like. It's only going to be in the like the mid to upper 60s, even at 7.30 in the morning when the race starts. So um, I would like it to be you know 20 degrees cooler than that probably, but it is what it is. It, it's At least it's not 80 degrees. Um, it might be up to 70 by the end of the race. So that's definitely warmer than I'd like. Um, but maybe the rain will help a little bit. It's also going to be overcast, so it always feels so much cooler when the, the sun is in out. It makes such a difference in having that sun uh, beating on you. So, um, so yeah, the weather, not ideal. Um, I'm going to play it by ear a little bit with my goal pace. Um, uh, my A goal is basically a 305, so that's the pace I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot for. But if that feels too hard given the temperature... I'm okay with dialing back on that. Um, my B goal is about 310, which would be a PR by a minute. So um, if I could get in that 305, 310 range, I'd be I'd be pretty happy, especially considering the weather isn't going to be ideal. Um, but I think I'm fully capable probably of 305. Um, and then my C goal is just to BQ, which for me is a 315. Um, I'd be generally pretty happy with that. Uh, and anything less than that, I basically consider a D goal uh, just to finish the race. So um, if everything just went perfectly, I'd maybe like uh, uh, a total flyer would be to go sub seven pace, which is like a 303, 32 or something like that. I don't know exactly what it works out to, but um, I think I am eventually going to be capable of that. And maybe a sub three is my, my ultimate goal, but um, not going to shoot for that to, tomorrow for sure. Um, this race, if you're not familiar with it, I've run it the last two years. Um, you, it's a point to point race from West to East. Um, you start out in Ishpeming and run into Marquette. Um, most of it's on a paved trail. So that's about as good as you're going to get. Um, it's uh, a lot of tree cover, uh, very smooth, well manicured trail. Um, there's a very steep not, I shouldn't say steep. There's a very long downhill um, coming in down to Marquette here. Um, but don't let that fool you into uh, that it's easy because my first year, um, you can watch that video if you want, but my uh, quads were just destroyed by that downhill basically and I just totally fell apart. I had to walk uh, and finished in like 335 or something like that. So. Um, be prepared for that downhill. Don't if you if you haven't run downhill before. Don't just think oh running downhill is easy because it, it's hard on your quads. Um, but yeah, and then once you get into town, um, that's where it gets a little interesting in a couple different ways. Um, when you first come into town, you do like this out and back section, which last year was my slowest mile. I ran like a 7:30 that mile. Um, because I think it had to do, that's when the weather hit, it started to rain, the wind started picking up, and there's part of that you had to run into the wind. And then you had to turn around too. So um, I was honestly worried about it at that point. I was like, uh, did I just hit the wall here? Am I falling apart? But then I was able to pick it up after that, so that was good. Um, a little later, you go out to Presque Isle Park, and uh, there's a very steep hill there, which uh, I thought I totally blew things on. I went up that hill and uh, was hitting into like 8.15 pace or something like that and was totally winded and my heart was beating a mile a minute and uh, when I got to the top of that I was like oh no did I just blow it did I just blow it <laughs> it 
you know, but luckily, obviously you get to the hill, then there's a gradual downhill, and I was able to pick the pace back up, and I was fine again, and uh, then the last part is about the last mile is all uphill, and that is just a killer, because no matter uh, what kind of athlete you are, at the end of a marathon, you're running your last mile uphill is, is tough, so um, I won't sugarcoat that by any means, that is a tough, tough way to finish a marathon. And it's basically just holding on to whatever pace you can to get up that hill. So, um, so yeah, that's basically the course. It's a smaller marathon, a couple hundred runners maybe. I don't know how what the turnout will be uh, this year, but um, it's it's not a huge marathon by any means. And that's kind of adds to the uh, appeal of it for uh, people who you know like a little breathing room and and you don't want to get uh, fenced in uh, with slower runners and stuff like that. So. Um, it's also beautiful up here. It's a good reason to come up here. I'm camping, as you can tell. Um, lots of things to do in the area for family. Um, Pictured Rocks is right by here, and uh, uh, there are a lot of museums and things to do up here uh, with the Great Lakes and everything. So um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I'll report back uh, somehow or other uh, after the race to let you know how I do it. Uh, keep your fingers crossed for me. Subscribe if you like the content. Um, I got shoe reviews coming up. Uh, again, I apologize for uh, my infrequency of putting out videos, but um, my life has been really hectic lately. I'm moving across the country here, so um, got a lot of craziness going on. But uh, I'll be back on schedule uh, one of these days, and uh, thanks again for sticking by me, and uh, I'll be back soon.